Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a quick video on um, something I've had for a while, which is one of these uh, GB Boy systems, which are apparently supposed to be almost, well, everyone's saying they are identical to like the original Game Boy ones. So much so that people who do like, um, like produce their own Game Boy music use these. GBA systems over the original Game Boy systems because they're supposed to be more like reliable and have and sound just as good, if not better, when they're making their um, mix tunes up. Um, there's loads of videos on YouTube and don't really know much about it. But the only issue with these G -boy, GB Boy systems is the uh, crystal CPU clock inside these runs faster than the original Game Boy. I think the original Game Boy let's call it a processor well I think it's a crystal oscillator technical name of it is only runs up I think it's 4.19 megahertz or thereabouts but this system inside it has a 25 megahertz processor in it and because 4.19 doesn't go into 25 that well this is down clocked via software but because as I said 4.19 megahertz doesn't go into 25 megahertz equally this system runs a tad bit faster than the original Game Boy. Um, I'll just do a quick demonstration now with um, one of my favourite games on the Game Boy which is uh, Terminator. This is my old blue light back mod Game Boy Pocket. So if you listen to the music this one will be proper speed. When it decides to load. So that's that one, you turn that off, uncork, turn it loaded up on this one, uh, yep, the screen's not great on this one at the moment, see that's quite a bit faster isn't it? Because it's faster, all the instruments are higher pitched. So you're at the top screen already. That is a lot, 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 lot faster. Which is uh, a shame, really. So what you can do is you can replace the crystal oscillator in these. Um, to get closer to the Game Boy one. Now I've bought a few here. I've bought a 4.5 megahertz one. I had to buy them in packs. You couldn't buy them individually. It cost more to buy them individually than it did to buy them in packs. Uh, a 4.43 one. Uh, a 4.332. That's 4.333. And a 4.096. Now the reason I haven't got one that is actually dead on 4.19 is because you can't, I don't mean you can actually find them, I can't actually find any. And also there's compatibility issues with different speed oscillators. It causes like the screen to glitch. Some people have tried this with different speed oscillators. I think this 4.09 one works. But then the game is ever, ever, ever so slightly slower. So I thought I'd go a bit faster and see if I could get any of these three type of ones to work without any graphical glitches on the screen. So I'll go the slowest one first, which is this one. So what I'll do is I'll open up the uh, Game Boy, GB Boy, replace the oscillator, and then I'll come back with another video and see... Uh, what the speed difference is like, if it's perceivable or not, and if there's any uh, screen glitches. Just a quick, uh, just a quick um, heads up that uh, in undoing this, there's one, two, uh, three, four, just normal Phillips head screws, and they've tried to be funny and um, add these 
sort of security screws that use the same security screws that hold together the NES and Super Nintendo cartridges, and I think actually on the Super Nintendo console. Uh, so you need a special tool. Um, I've got some of these, which I've had for donkey's years. There's two sets, two different sizes. Uh, because when I used to get my Super Nintendo games, I used to take them apart and uh, clean the contacts of the cartridges with uh, a good tip here. Uh, use uh, like a razor rubber on the uh, the contacts of the NES cartridge or the SNES cartridges on the pins to get the um, contacts coming up like a golden colour again. Because on the old consoles, the games and that, they used to um, the contacts used to get quite grimy and dirty, and that used to cause the games not to load. Uh, hence the old blowing on the uh, inside the cartridge tip, which later on in life people uh, sort of found out as a bad idea because you used to get saliva from your mouth when you used to blow on the chips, which is corrode the chips. But now use a um, use an eraser rubber and then maybe finish it off with some uh, rubbing alcohol, isopropylene, I think it's called, to finish it off. Anyway, yeah. So you're going to need these tool bits to get these. Bits undone. Just thought I'd give you a quick heads up. Oh, there's one hiding underneath here as well, which will have to destroy the uh, sticker. But yeah, not sure what I did that for because it's not really a first party Nintendo product. So yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick heads up on that part. Right, so with the back taken off, uh, the oscillated chip is uh, easily enough found. There's this one here. So all I have is just two. Pins are going to the board, just need to flip the board over, unsolder them, and then replace uh, that with one of the other speed uh, oscillator chips and uh, crystals and see uh, see how it works, basically, and if it's any better. Because at the moment, the way it runs is way, way, way too fast. So I've now, I've now got the uh, new oscillator chip fitted. It's a, it's a 4.332 one. Um, Make sure you have it in that orientation when you put the chip in, so it's sort of like reading downwards. Not sure what would happen if you put it the other way around, if anything would happen at all. But that's the way the other chip was in. Um, also up here, when you before you move, remove the PCB from the case. Make sure you detach the ribbon cable from here. It's basically just one of these push-up connections, and just pull the cable, the ribbon cable out. Then when you want to put it back in again, push it back in, and just make sure these are pushed down. Also there's three screws that hold the PCB into the case, so I'll undo them as well. And just gently lift it out and um, basically yeah, around the back just heat these two points up and uh, get like a pair of like, plastic tweezers or something narrow to fit in between the board and the old oscillator chip to remove it and just constantly keep heating those two pins up and it should drop out and then place a new one in and cut the legs off so they don't stick out the bottom of the board and uh, that's pretty much it so I'll put it back together and let's see what it sounds like okay so this is all back together now um, just a quick one at the start I said it's a 25 megahertz processor crystal oscillator now that's obviously <laughs> completely ridiculous it's not it's a 5 megahertz oscillator which um, you can see this is 5 megahertz on there so yeah that's the one that was in there so it ran at 5 megahertz so it's running at about 0 0.80 megahertz originally too fast um, that's why it's, it's, it doesn't sound right um, apparently people have tried uh, 4.19 megahertz oscillators in this which is the speed of the original Game Boy but that one causes as I said before the sh screen flickers so it's not compatible um, so um, the 4.3 I think 3.2.1 or 3.2.2 I've tried in this one um, it's a bit, little bit faster than uh, what original Game Boy is but um, still I have a lot slower than, than the 5 megahertz so let's power this up let's see if it works okay screen seems to be flicker free 
I've only got one copy of Terminator, so that's in my um, Game Boy Pocket, which I showed earlier on. So this is using the uh, Game Boy EverDrive. See, so even that ping sound sounds uh, sounds pretty good. Yeah, it sounds a lot better, that does. Nowhere near as fast. Maybe it's still a little bit faster than the original Game Boy. Sounding, but not perceivably so. Unless you had them running for side by side. I don't think you notice. But yeah, that's a lot better, definitely a lot better. So let's go back to the... Uh, Game Boy Pocket. To be fair, I think the speakers messed up on this Game Boy, so it does sound a bit different. Actually, the instruments sound different. But the speed, it's not too far off now. I mean, I'm going to look, try getting some other oscillators that are closer to 4.19 megahertz. Maybe there's a 4.20 or maybe 4.25 about that people haven't tried. But uh, yeah, this, um, this as it stands at the moment is infinitely better than what it was initially from the box with the 5 the 5 megahertz crystal oscillator so yeah 4.332 I think I put in this one I, I, I showed what it was at the start of the video anyway so it's whatever that one was but yeah a lot better so uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll catch you on the next video